Welcome back my friends, welcome to another lecture where we are going to do, probably today <clears throat> we are going to destroy or delete some of the users. So, uh, what are we are going to do is, uh, let's create something here in the admin users controller, the destroy function. The destroy function is empty, but it's going to be very simple. So look at here, we can dump dump the ID and that ID will be the ID from the user. So let's just refresh here. And if I delete this test two or new user, I should have the ID number three there printed out. Here it is. So I know which user will be deleted. Now what we can do is actually user equal user where, so you can say where ID and we're gonna pass the ID and we can say delete simple as that now that will <clears throat> sorry we will return redirect okay now we can redirect back to the same page I just want to redirect here but I want to say here to have a like a you know the display message where we're saying okay the user is deleted now we can do that redirect it back with Success, oops. Success, and let's say the user uh, is deleted. Very good. Now let's go back to the index page here. <clears throat> Sorry, I have something in my throat. Um, now here in the top, view all users. After that, so below that actually, we can include and say include message. So what actually we are doing is just finding the includes in our views. Let's hold this one. Includes and do we have, yeah, message. That's it. Now we need to include that one. So when we are returning back, I, I know that this will be displayed. So comment that one out but before that before that we need to do something so what we need to do is actually when we delete a user we don't want their post <clears throat> to be remaining here right and actually in our program so if I copy this one I think most of the posts were from user Rick so we need to change it probably so written by Rick written by Rick yeah so most of our posts are written by Rick, right? And the best thing to do is to use this new user Gmail. I'm just gonna log out from here. So we need to test something. So I'm just gonna log in as a new user. So you log, log in as any user you have that doesn't have posts. The password should be, if I remember correctly, okay. No, that one I hit wrong button right here it is now we need to create a post new user post and I'm just gonna select one image here doesn't matter this one or this one yeah test post for the new user new to user right very good now if I log out okay why I don't see okay it should be here <clears throat> on top right because that's what we have done so if you read more everything is working pretty much nicely so I'm just gonna admin login now so I'm going back sorry guys if it's going this back and forth but we I need I need to show you what we are going to build, right? So login as your as the administrator you have. Now, and we by the way we need to create a link here. So I'm gonna say slash users. Now, when I delete this user, I want uh, the post they are saved here, like this one, the number 16. I don't want that post to be there because it's for, from the user number three, right? 
and I don't need this one as well. So how we can do that? That we can do through, um, so we can group through the, we can do this through the migration. So control P and let's open create posts table and that's in the folder database, database migrations. So this is the way we, our post is now. So now I just want to relate user table with the post table. And yeah, we can do that by doing a table, foreign, so, so we are setting the foreign key here. So if you don't know what's foreign keys, and yeah, you can Google it. That's the way the MySQL and all of the database are working. So I can relate that now here. So I'm gonna say reference. So that will reference the ID on, that's the keyword, on which table? Users table. So, and I will see on delete, cascade very good now what we need to do is to run the PHP artisan migrate nothing to migrate because we already have this table now what we're going to do we need to drop all the tables that we have and to do this and that will delete all of our um, so that will delete all of our data there so if you find with that you just need to do this now PHP artisan so what we can do there are a lot of list of uh, list of this so we can use PHP artisan migrate fresh right I'm not gonna do anything else roll back all the database migrations so after this I'm gonna show you one Simple, um, simple way how we can have the same data all over again without drop, without I mean specifying again. PHP artisan migrate fresh. So dropping, and we have syntax error somewhere. And I think I know where the problem is. Here should be references. This one references ID on users okay let's do it again very good now I don't have it anything but if I go back here I don't have it now if I refresh sadly I don't have any users right so we need to create an admin again and stuff like that so this is pretty much boring and um, yeah we can stop actually at this stage and I'm gonna show you what we can do uh, next one or if you want you can go create a user create an admin with the PHP Tinker because that's the easy way you can create the admin and after that when we are logging to the admin actually we can just uh, yeah when you log into admin you can just see what's there but at the at, at this stage we don't have anything else inside our database so thank you for watching I hope you enjoy this lecture is a little bit confusing because we delete all of it but this is how you need to do it in order when we delete user to delete all of the posts related with that users so yeah that's pretty much it now I hope this is not too much for you guys but you need to go back and forth that's why I don't recommend to put too many data in your in this the testing phase or the, the work when we are working on this because that will make you uh, yeah that will create a problems when you need to drop it or you need to implement some other functionalities so keep in mind that we're gonna do this like more times in future so yeah thank you very much I hope you enjoy this and I see you in the next one